Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Let the lessons of today bring the wisdom for tomorrow. After all, it is by choice and not by chance that we grow into better humans. Well, go on, my people. Open body, you know, okay? Open body, you know, all right? Wake up and find myself alive yet another morning. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. Life doesn't allow us to go back and fix what we have done wrong in the past, but it allows us to live each day better than our last. Remember that, people, and always remember that. Guess what I'm going for, what I'm going now? The police them slap a one right round there, sir. The police them shoot off a tree right over there, sir. Miss. But no matter what on yourself. You don't know, see a ball to ball coming through to get on this platform. But from week start, me tell the sir, the little bit them under attack. Watch what I'm going for, what I'm going This is called Dutty Coach, you know. A truck coat who was charged with sexually molesting a student of a prominent high school in western Jamaica was granted bail in the sum of 250000 when he appeared before a senior parish judge, John Facey, at the Falmouth Parish Court on Thursday. Well, on. What kind of bail you give? Oh, sl oh, matter of fact, they probably let him out for him get slapped away. Good business. The accused is scheduled to reappear in court on Tuesday, January 24th next year. Report reaching our news team that on Saturday, December 5th, a 14 year old student who is a member of her school track and field team was sexually assaulted by the coach in the changing room on the school compound. The molecular, not the coach. A long time, them look at things and go and say, so nobody does feel like saying, no, you know. Long time the coach and your have looking at the picnic them. You understand? So my boy them too. Yeah man, if it's like that is and as it might be. The coach was subsequently charged with sexual touching and grievous sexual assault. Anyway, I can move on. A man has been arrested and charged with the shooting injury of a woman in Canaan District and over on Saturday, September 26. Charged with wounding with intent and illegal pushing of firearm is 26-year-old Javino Evans, otherwise called Jermaine of Canaan District. Report from the police that at about 3 p.m., the woman was walking along the roadway when she was attacked and shot multiple times by Evans. It is reported that she had a long-standing dispute. The police were summoned the woman was taken to the hospital where she was admitted and treated. Evans was subsequently arrested during a police operation in Montpellier State. James on Saturday. Why the police they never send a police all look at the boy, man? We're not going to pick him up for care and be at bars. We're going to have taxpayers money. It makes no sense. Anyway, right out of St. Thomas Magan. You understand? Three St. Thomas men are facing charges after a physical altercation in Rochelle District in the parish on Wednesday, November 2nd. Charged wounded with intent and malicious destruction of property is 34 year old Chase Dunn, a farmer and mason of Rochelle District, while 31 year old, while 31 year old Vian Williams and 51 year old Ransford Marshall has been charged with wounded with intent. According the report from the police, Marshall, who was armed with a machete, which is known as a cutlass in Jamaican terms, and Williams attacked Dunn and inflict several sharp wounds to him. Dunn in return used a knife to stab Williams several times. He also threw stone, causing damage to Marshall motor car. Hold oh, on, people. That's a real bad man. The whole shit, you know. The injured man remained hospitalized, but both are considered to be in stable condition. The three men were charged following interview with the police. Anyway, now people, make I move on. One firearm and several rounds of ammo were seized during an operation on Simpson Road on Thursday, November 10. No one was arrested in connection with the find. Report from Elliston Road Police that at about 6.30 a.m., lawmen carried out an operation in the area when a multi-caliber pistol loaded with two catches was found buried at the rear of the premises. The weapon was subsequently seized. Investigation is ongoing. Somebody called and tell us that they're right there, they're so, and that's why I'm not going to understand. Give the people in the road. Cause me all know something the right enough police to know say yo, alright, this one need to follow. Move from about there. Anyway now, people watch what one power one. They said I'm telling about Tai Tai. Yeah, who killed Tai Tai now? Adora. A woman has been charged with murder following the stabbing death of a teen in Riverdale St. Catherine on Saturday, November 5th. Charges 26 year old Daniel Davis, otherwise called Dora, of Blue Peace District in St. Catherine. The deceased has been identified as 18 year old Dane Stevenson, otherwise called Tai Tai. 
a mace of Riversdale. Anyway, people, I'm not really going to this again because we talked about it yesterday. So all who are here happen, just go back and listen to yesterday man interview you and you can exactly what going power go on. I can move on and give people them some more news because I have a body when well, I don't find the ground. You understand? Or you can ride on bike. From around a cheap site, but anyway, I can give people them the news. A motorcyclist died as a result of injury sustained in a crash on the cheap side main road near Junction in St. Elizabeth Thursday. The police named the deceased as 17 year old Shaquille McLean, a resident of cheap side. Report reaching our news team from the police that at about 9 30 a.m., McLean was driving a motorcycle on the main road when he collided an underfit motor car. Police said the driver of the motor car was exiting a minor road. McLean and a male pillion were reportedly flung from the motorcycle on impact. And they never have no helmet, people. You understand? They never have no helmet. He was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. Two female occupants of the car were also brought into the hospital. Right up to them gone for treatment. Make can tell the people them something. You need to win the brother and sisters keep us when you are on the roadway. Okay? A police source said St. Elizabeth are recorded 26 road fatalities from 24 crashes since the start of the year and decreased when compared to the corresponding period last year. For the past two months, September and October, St. Elizabeth recorded one road fatality, which is good. You understand? Which is good. Means I now learn. We're not going to kill off for the Sources urge motorists to be cautious in traversing the nation road even as the festive season is fast approaching. You know what's that? That's easier, people. Then, holy. Yes. Talk to us. Is on us that it might be already. Anyway, St. Mary McGon. A man has been charged after allegedly inflicting several shop wounds to another man in Harmony All St. Mary on Monday. The man then put out the gun and start using them cutlass and them knife all it these days. 54 year old Fitzroy Mahoney of Whitehall District in St. Mary has been charged with wounded with intent. Report reaching our news team from the Highgate Police that at about 10 a.m., the now injured man was walking along the roadway when he was attacked and shot by Mahoney. With who he had a long standing dispute. The police were summoned and the man was taken to the hospital where he was admitted for treatment. Mahoney later turned himself into the police and was subsequently charged. But hold on, the man. You know, see, I slap the boy Mahoney if he gets slapped with people. I slap him if he gets slapped with my boy like him, a bad man. Anyway, more news. Hold on, then, now, people. Stop going out right now and look here. Come on, see some man who just listen to now, look, you know. You know about the body where them dash out of the car right out of Port Royal? Yeah, the dead body where them find right out of the car on the side right there, sir. Is this girl right there? So, hey man, is this girl? You understand? The people that must say my view. I know the first body that show right there, say, you know? The man, them always that show body right a light brown corner right there. So, yeah, whole heap of whole heap of body always a dash there. Come like, oh, look at body spot people, you understand? So, if you miss somebody, you them see them corner of Port Royal, just go right out, man, and look at the corner there. Go see if you can find them body, but I don't look at girl like that. Anyway. Let me go to some more news. Now, people, I can take a walk now, St. Catherine, Spanish town to be exact. Two different crime scenes, Mr. Yellow Tape Jar. Right on the Lake Spen and right on the Homestead. We don't know who did the Lake Spen it. I soon go around this and go find out. But when I go right on the Homestead first card, this is already up on the screen. Yes, call himself one done. The people them say, my fellow brother, you brother, know. Yeah, man. Them for that long time, call him a boy, you all chum me. He said, people, I oh, hold it for shot bus. Yeah, man. Actually, people get shot. And when they shot them, turn fire and the people them go look. Him them say, dead, dead, dead. Anyway, now, my mommy told me that the police them set up with something. I thought the center must then, the man. A man was fatally shot on Wednesday night after he allegedly attacked the police in Sunny Hill, St. Thomas. He has been identified as 26 year old Harry Thompson of Wilmington District in the parish. It's reported that at about 10 40 pm, a police team was responding to a complaint in the Sunny Hill area. On reaching the location, guess what, people? The big E that boy reportedly jumped from bushes, attacked one of the officers, and was shot. He was taken right down to the Princess Margaret Hospital to be placed on ice. One man, one player here has a phone get zero. That is exactly where we reach him. You understand? And it's a like coming right out this upon a little ends there. Maybe confirm this a little story at all. So holy pa shot the fire right out of rock photo. Yeah man, holy pa holy pa holy pa shot. Me not really know them up there fight over you know, people can nothing is there. Just believe me, man. Not a goddamn thing is there for them to be fighting over. Anyway, right on Arm and Road now. Yo, Remember, remember good now. I never tell you to say police kill two man. I say police kill one. You understand? I'm talking about that one day already. So this is where they will lie down on the ground. Miguel, I don't police kill him. No, sir. That police kill him. Me and the straight man, them step cross and same. 
and slap him with. And guess what? Go on, power go on now. While them go back to the street, police them see them. And police them shoot off of them and miss. Yes, that is exactly what happened, people. Police them see them and they come, come kill me again, right? That's all. And take them on and miss. Because I don't know what happened to the police. You know? I don't know what happened to the police. And them and them all is just a miss. But remember, me did tell you not this festivity just start running at Dunkirk. So nobody have worry yourself. I have all the panels to go in the farm around the yard. Yeah, people are going to drop around there like fly. Watch what I want, power what I want. Just to make sure I catch my tent in the right place. You understand? So nobody don't do me nothing. I soon come back and give the people them some more news.